Good evening. News for San Antonio is your Olympic station because the games are now underway. We're going to be on a little late tonight. That's right. We hope that you'll stick around until after the games for some great stories that we've been working on. We'll tell you about those in just a bit. But first, here's a quick look at some big headlines. Bear County is in the middle of a COVID-19 spike. 418 people are now being treated for the virus at local hospitals. Health officials say almost all of them are not vaccinated. I would hope that they would send a clear message to everybody else that you better go get your vaccination. It's a little late to ask for the vaccination when you're fixing to go on a ventilator. Now, people who are not vaccinated are being asked to mask up in public. To find the nearest place to get a shot, dial 311. Now to exclusive video of federal authorities releasing hundreds of asylum seekers right here in downtown San Antonio. This video from earlier today. You see the migrants being dropped off at the Greyhound bus station, including families with small children. The migrants from several countries, some as far away as Venezuela. Church organizations bought them bus tickets to get them to the cities where they'll have their asylum cases heard next month. A new municipal utilities committee will be monitoring CPS Energy and SAWS. The committee will keep city council updated on what's happening and will follow up on recommendations from the Emergency Preparedness Committee. District 9 Councilman John Courage will be serving as the committee's chair. Alabama's Republican governor blaming the unvaccinated for COVID numbers surging again. Folks supposed to have common sense, but it's time for the start blaming the unvaccinated folks, not the regular folks. It's the unvaccinated folks that are letting us stay. That's Governor Kay Ivey there saying people are supposed to have common sense. Alabama has the lowest vaccination rate in the country at 38%. The mayors of Boston and Chicago have joined Atlanta in announcing that children in public schools will be required to wear masks this fall. Teachers and staff will also be required to wear masks regardless of their vaccination status. Heads up parents, experts are projecting a school supply shortage. They're blaming tight inventory levels and delayed shipments. Among the items you may have the most trouble finding, backpacks and laptops or tablets. Well, he captured the hearts of thousands of people, and tomorrow you can help honor the memory of Bryce Wisdom. His parents are leading the first ever Bryce Strong Walk Run Have Fun 5K. This will be held at Judson Stadium to raise money for the Bryce Strong Foundation, which helps pediatric cancer warriors. Bryce was just 17 years old when he lost a long battle with cancer about a year ago. Check-in begins at 739 tomorrow morning with the 5K starts at 839. The cost to register is $39, 39 being Bryce's jersey number. They'll also have food trucks, a DJ, other vendors there as well. If you'd like to sign up, please just head to our website, news4sa.com. All right, time now for weather. So much rain lately. However, that looks like it's going away for now. All right, Chief Meteorologist Chris Suchan joining us. And Chris, we got some sunshine back today, a little break from the rain. Absolutely. It's going to be with us uh, through the uh, uh, over the course of the upcoming weekend here. Also, a little Saharan dust. That is over us now, and as we head through your day Saturday, we're going to have that hazy sunshine. Nothing in the way of rain to be planning around, though, for your outdoor plans. High pressure out over the Gulf will control our weather Saturday and Sunday, and outside of maybe some early morning clouds, both days with a lot of sunshine. So overnight, it'll be 73 degrees, pleasantly mild, looking good for that walk-run 5K there at Judson Stadium tomorrow morning. 93 into the afternoon with some haze in our sky and just a little bit of a breeze here across our four zones looking good. You see temperatures uh, near or just a little bit below average in most cases across our four zones. A little bit of a rain chance in our extended forecast next week. We're going to talk about that after the Olympics tonight. Sounds good. Thank you, Chris. Now to four stories you won't want to miss after the games tonight. We'll start with documents CPS Energy does not want you to see. News 4 troubleshooter Emily Bauckham will share the utility's confidential storm response plan from during the February freeze. And a San Antonio father in search of justice after his daughter's body is found burned beyond recognition in a field. Tonight we share details of this unsolved murder in hopes that someone watching will be able to help crack this case. And a Holocaust survivor checking an item off her bucket list in Texas. The dream that came true for this 90 year old here in the Lone Star State. Those stories and a wrap of tonight's Olympic highlights. Go Team USA. Yes. Right? <laughs> Watch them with us tonight at 10.